Hi, I'm NBC5 Chief Meteorologist David Finfrock. And I'm meteorologist Rebecca Miller, and we want to make sure your community stays safe and prepared when severe storms hit. You have the opportunity to get your own radar and be part of the Collaborative Adaptive Sensing of the Atmosphere, or CASA. The next time tornadoes sweep through North Texas, like they did on April 3rd, 2012, we need the very best radar views we can get. Our current NEXRAD radar south of Fort Worth was state of the art when it was introduced almost 25 years ago. And it still does a good job, but there are limitations. For one thing, there aren't enough of them. Radars are typically 200 miles apart, leaving big gaps in radar coverage near the ground. That means detecting tornadoes is very challenging. CBS 11 Chief Meteorologist Larry Mowry explains why your community may be at a real disadvantage. With the current radar located at Spinks Airport in southern Tarrant County, when you move 30 miles away from the radar, say over Dallas, the radar beam is looking 2,000 feet above the ground. Move 60 miles away to McKinney, the lowest the radar can see there is over 5,000 feet. That's about a mile above the ground and move out to Sulphur Springs 100 miles away, the lowest the radar can see there, 16,510 feet above the ground. Tornadoes are at ground level, so the current NEXRAD radar might see a storm at a distance, but completely miss a developing tornado at the low levels. The new CASA radars focus entirely on the lowest levels of the atmosphere, which is crucial in spotting tornadoes. Right now, if uh, the Weather Service wants to know what's going on at the ground, they actually deploy uh, spotters, storm spotters, to look. And they look at the clouds and they look to see if there are rotations or, or, um, or any kind of updrafts. And based on that, the Weather Service might issue a warning. But with CASA radars, we're actually able to do this electronically. And that's a tremendous advantage at nighttime when you actually can't see the clouds or in events where there's a tremendous amount of rain or hail and a spotter doesn't know, you know the exact place to go uh, in a storm. Here at the National Weather Service offices in Fort Worth, Eric and Greg are analyzing data from the NEXRAD radar. It scans multiple levels of a storm, but it only updates every five minutes. The CASA radars are much faster. And because there will be a dense network of CASA radars, we will have a much better idea of what's happening at ground level in every single county in North Texas. The current radar system right now basically spins around 360 degrees every five minutes. And what CASA radars do is they can focus on the area of most risk, the area where there's a storm, and focus their scanning resources there. And so they can basically follow a storm cell as it travels through the radar network. It's both faster and more targeted and precise. The CASA radars are high-tech dual polarization radars. This new type of radar allows us to better see what's going on inside the storm. A raindrop in the cloud looks like a hamburger, squeezed at the top and elongated at the sides. A snowflake, well, it's more spherical. It's basically round. The traditional radar would send out one beam of energy in one dimension, horizontally. A small amount of that beam would bounce off the precipitation and be sent back to the radar. That's how the radar would know there's something out there. The new dual polarization radar sends out two beams, one that's horizontal and one that's also vertical. When these two beams are looking at precipitation, together they give us a better idea of the shape. And knowing that shape will help us differentiate between rain, snow, sleet, or hail. It'll even pick up tornado debris, so we'll be able to tell when shingles or two-by-fours or even tractor trailers are lofted into the air. The CASA radars are also much higher resolution. Just look at these two images of the same tornado near Chickasha, Oklahoma. This side-by-side -side comparison of the older NEXRAD radar on the left and the newer CASA radar on the right demonstrates emphatically how much clearer the picture is with the newer CASA technology. You can see the hook echo of the tornado in incredible detail. There's no question where this tornado is, right down to street level. The CASA radars will also provide a huge improvement in estimating rainfall intensity. That means a big increase in our ability to forecast flash flooding, the biggest killer in North Texas. The first CASA radar is already up and running at the University of Texas in Arlington. The next one is about to be installed at the University of North Texas in Denton. And two more are scheduled to go up in Addison and Northwest Fort Worth near Eagle Mountain Lake. 
This is a valuable start, but to truly realize the value of the CASA radars, we need to expand to a network of first eight and then eventually 22 radars in the next few years. That will eventually provide high resolution, low altitude, live radar coverage across every single county and community in North Central Texas. That will be a boon for emergency managers and first responders throughout the area. And that's something we can all support.